Whilst the PM can hide, but he can't run as he deploys his fridge strategy yet again as a member of his own family, conveniently as a case of COVID. If true, I wish them well, but you can't blame people for thinking a serial liar is lying about this too. There are no depths he won't sink to to save his own skin after all. But a story circulated of various Tory MPs now actively calling for his resignation as new tidbits emerge, such as people who do not work in Downing Street being invited to that party on the 20th of May, not least of which Carrie Antoinette herself. It blatantly wasn't a work do. And with the email, the footage, the statements being made, not least of which Johnson's own admission to being there for 25 minutes yesterday at PMQs, many are wondering just how much longer the Met can keep stalling over investigating. But the one person also investigating this, for whom most eyes have now turned, is the civil servant Sue Gray, who took over from Simon Case in investigating all of these parties after he was found to have attended one himself. So who is Sue Gray? What's her record? And is she a credible investigator, given Johnson has effectively put his career in her hands? A civil servant who left to run a pub in the 80s. In 2012, she took over as head of ethics at the Cabinet Office. She was behind the investigations into Damien Green's office porn and Andrew Mitchell's Plebgate scandal where he insulted the police in Downing Street. Green was sacked and Mitchell resigned over these matters. So she's OK, you might think. Well... For starters, this supposed independent investigation isn't anything of the sort when Sue Gray is a current civil servant and therefore, in this instance, is directly investigating her own boss. It cannot therefore be independent. She's caught between a rock and a hard place. We also don't know the terms of reference of her investigation. It may seem obvious with all the evidence now floating around, but has she been constrained and in what way? She has a reputation also for not leaving document trails. It's so powerful within the civil service, political memoirs require her to sign off before they get published. She has advised special advisors on how to destroy emails to thwart freedom of information requests. She is regarded as a force of conservatism within the civil service, which ought to preclude her from being part of it. So all things considered, it would not surprise me in the least if she cleared Johnson, but good luck to her in trying because we're unlikely to believe it.